What I want to do finally is turn to the best paper prizes for 2012 in, in the Journal of Finance. Uh, they're going to be presented by Bruno and, and Michael. Um, I'll say just a word or two about um, the prizes and the procedures. There are two groups of prizes, the Brattle Prize in the area of corporate finance, sort of broadly construed, the Smith Breeden Prizes for essentially everything else, broadly construed. Uh, the, uh, the AEs, the, our associate editors, nominate the best papers. Uh, we have a first round voting and then uh, we, we get some finalists depending on the votes and we have a second round of voting and uh, that leads to uh, the, the, the first place place prize in the distinguished papers. Uh, this year was rather unusual, I think, uh, perhaps uh, in that uh, the associate editors liked a lot of the papers and among the finalists uh, had very difficult time deciding uh, the first prize paper. So both for the Brattle Prize and the Smith Breeden Prize, we actually ended up with two first prize papers this year and one distinguished paper. Uh, I think that's also a reflection on the depth, the quality of the papers that uh, we're getting, and we're grateful for that. And so we're very pleased to, uh, to give those prizes. So we're going to start with the, uh, the Brattle Prizes, and we're pleased that uh, Stu Myers and uh, Linda Borucki, on, on behalf of the Brattle Prize Committee, are going to come up and join uh, Michael Roberts, who's going to be uh, uh, presenting the winners of the, uh, of, of the Brattle Prizes. It's on. I think. Thank you. Thanks, Ken. First, uh, I'd, I'd like, to, uh, like to have you join me in uh, thanking the Brattle Group for their continued support of the JF, and it's a small token of our appreciation. Uh, we have a plaque with the winners. Please don't look yet. <laughs> okay, please. Thank you. Okay, without further ado, uh, we will start with the distinguished paper. Here, uh, the distinguished Brattle Prize winner for distinguished paper in the journal Finance is "The Vote Is Cast: The Effect of Corporate Governance on Shareholder Value" by Vicente Cunhat, uh, Mireya Gine, and Maria Guadalupe. Please come up and join us. Okay, so as Ken mentioned, there are two papers for the first prize battle group. Uh, the first one is the International Transmission of Bank Liquidity Shocks, Evidence from an Emerging Market by Philip Schnabel. And the second first prize winner of the Brattle Prize is Information Disclosure, Cognitive Biases, and Payday Borrowing by Marianne Bertrand and Adair Morris. Now we will offer the prizes for the uh, Smith Breeden uh, Award, and I think Doug is here, and will come up and, uh, and join Bruno. So, well, thank you very much for making this possible. It's, it's great for the finance profession. So, um, I think I have. Um, I should give you a plate also. Hmm? Yep. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. So the, the distinguished paper is Uncertainty about Government Policy and Stock Prices by Lubos Pastor and Pietro Veronesi from Chicago. Bravo. <laughs> 
So we have two um, um, first prize papers. So one of them is Rollover Risk and Credit Risk by Jiguo He and Wei Zhong. Last but not least, the other first prize paper is Technological Growth and Asset Pricing by Nikolai Garlianu, Stavros Panagias, and Jen Feng Yu. Okay. We have a couple more honors to bestow. Um, first off, um, Bengt Holmstrom. Um, has been selected by the fellows of the American Finance Association um, to be the incoming fellow this year. Um, just a little bit of background. Every year, the outgoing president of the AFA becomes a fellow of the American Finance Association. And in addition, um, the fellows elect a, a second member to be inducted into the fellows. Basically, the process is that the with collaboration or with discussions with the fellows, the board of directors um, of the AFA nominate a slate of directors, and then we go back to the fellows who elect um, their new fellow. So Ben Holmstrom um, is the one that was just simply that was just elected, and as most of you know, Ben has done seminal work in a lot of different areas that have direct implications for the type of research we do in finance. His work on incentives, contract design, the theory of the firm, organizational structure, all those areas have had a lot of influence, not only on the people that work on the specific areas, but on a lot of us in corporate finance, corporate governance um, that work on related issues. He's also done some important work on liquidity, on the need for liquidity by, corporate, by corporations and also on the capacity of markets to provide liquidity. This is work that has gained particular relevance in the ongoing post-crisis debate on the allocative efficiency of financial markets and institutions. Unfortunately, Bengt is not here today, but he's recorded a video, and I don't know if this is really going to work. How does that? Hello, everybody. And Happy New Year from a very happy fellow, literally speaking. I'm really sorry I can't be in San Diego right now, uh, both because it's freezing cold here in Boston, about 10 degrees, and uh, more importantly because I would have liked to share with you uh, the happiness and uh, joy I feel and the gratitude I feel towards you for having elected me uh, as a fellow of the American Finance Association. It is a true honor and one that came as a big surprise to me. So thank you very much. I realize these aren't the Oscars, but I also want to thank the, my co-authors who have been involved in the two major projects uh, that I have done in finance, both related to the financial crisis. First and foremost, my work with Shanti Roll that got started uh, with the Scandinavian and uh, Finnish uh, financial crisis in 91-92. That has been a very gratifying, edifying, and enjoyable collaboration that has culminated in the book for me uh, entitled Inside and Outside Liquidity. The second uh, ongoing project is with Gary Gorton and Trivi Dang, uh, also on the financial crisis, the current financial crisis. Uh, it started with my discussion of Gary's uh, very important paper at Jackson Hole in 2008. And after that, we began working together on uh, understanding liquidity from a perspective that I had thought very little about before. And uh, that too, and perhaps even more so been uh, opening new vistas for me that uh, I find uh, really exciting and interesting. 
And uh, I'm very happy that that work is continuing in a productive manner. Uh, I should also say uh, thank you to all of you, uh, or most of you, with whom I have over the years worked together on trying to understand financial crisis better. We have a long road to go, but I feel fairly confident that uh, the new modern corporate finance is a path, is the right path to getting a deeper understanding of what has been going on, and hopefully, therefore, to be able to deal with financial crisis in better ways in the future. So thank you all for bringing me into your fraternity in this way. It's a great honor, and I hope I will be able to bear this honor in a very honorable way. I wish you a very happy meeting, and uh, enjoy the balmy weather in San Diego. Bye-bye. Bestowing is the Fisher Black Prize, and Cam Harvey, um, who represents the selection committee, will um, disclose that. I'm filling in for uh, Raghu, who cannot be here. Um, the committee members are listed, and uh, what, I, what I'm going to do is to read the official text uh, that the committee um, agreed upon that's going to be posted hopefully within a few minutes on the new website, uh, and it goes like this. Um, Quote, the prize is awarded every two years to the person under 40 years old whose work best exemplifies the Fisher Black hallmark of developing original research that is relevant to the finance practice. The 2013 winner is Professor Enrique Melmendier of the University of California, Berkeley. So the committee continues, uh, Enrique's work spanning corporate finance, behavioral economics and finance, contract theory, and the history of the organization meets the standard. While there were a number of excellent candidates for the prize, the committee was particularly impressed with the originality and creativity of her papers, traits that Fisher Black was well known for. Now let me deviate a bit um, from the official text. And let me just mention uh, a few examples uh, of this creativity. Um, first, uh, consider a pair of papers that most of you know that Ulrike wrote with uh, Jeff Tate, uh, the first being published in the Journal of Finance in 2005. And the idea of these papers is that it's well known that CEOs are not very well diversified. And this actually provides a reason for them to want to exercise their stock options early. So Enrique and Jeff come up with an idea, uh, a measure of overconfidence based upon basically not exercising these options early. And what they do is to relate this to uh, investment and show in a very convincing way that uh, uh, distortions are caused um, due to the uh, CEO traits. Um, the second paper in the JFE in 2008 uh, actually applies uh, this to M&A behavior uh, also. Um, the last example, and these are just a couple of examples uh, of a very distinguished record, uh, is a very recent paper that Ulrike did with uh, Stefan Negal, uh, published in the QJE, um, called Depression Babies. And the idea of this paper is that the environment that you're in potentially affects your risk behavior. So the traditional idea, people that lived through the depression have different attitudes towards risk than those that didn't. So they come up with uh, an ingenious idea of looking at kind of the, the, the market environment that people actually experience uh, and then relate that to uh, their risk taking using the survey of consumer finance uh, data. If you haven't read the paper, you should read the paper. Very uh, interesting. Um, finally, I've got to say that uh, on a personal note, um, uh, the 2005 Journal of Finance paper significantly influenced my research. So I can imagine a number of my papers would not have been written if that 2005 paper uh, didn't appear. 
So congratulations, Enrique. And Sheridan, would you um, join me to introduce the, uh, the prize?